In this video, we'll be converting complex numbers to rectangular form. Our problem is to convert 6 CIS 60 degrees to rectangular form. Now we know uh, whenever we're given a complex number in polar form that 6, this number out in front, is the R value and this number in the back is theta. So the 6 is our um, distance from the origin to the terminal point of the vector. So I'll just sketch that right there. And we have 6 here. And then the 60 is our angle of rotation, which is theta, and we'll call that 60 degrees. So to change to rectangular form, we need to find the horizontal component and the vertical component. Now we know that 60 is one of our special triangles, so we can uh, apply that knowledge. We could also do our right triangle trig. Um, from our special triangles, we know that the side opposite the 60 is half the hypotenuse times the square root of 3. So half the hypotenuse is 3, and then times the square root of 3 would be our vertical component. And then the angle here is 30, so the side opposite the 30 is half the hypotenuse. And that's it, so just 3 here. So our um, rectangular form for this um, 6 CIS 60 would be 3 plus and then 3 root 3 i. Remember that when we're dealing with complex numbers, this is our real axis and this is our imaginary axis. Now, if this had not been a special triangle, to get our x value, we would have used the cosine, and we would have said 6 cosine 60. And to get the y value, we would have said 6 sine 60. Let me do that on the calculator and we can see that it's the same value. 6 cosine 60 is 3. And that's what we had here. And then 6 sine 60. 3 root 3, which if we did the decimal would be approximately 5.20. So I could write this as 3 plus 5.20i. I always try to go with the exact answers, though, when I have the ability to do that.